Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Matt, and I will be going over my current status and plan of my ground penetrating radar instrument for a Europa mission. Ground penetrating radar is a technology that was developed to enable scientists to study subsurface features. This technology transmits high frequency radio waves through the ground and receives the reflected waves, which can then be transformed into useful information. Figure one displays a radio wave being emitted and reflected off an object back to the source. Ground penetrating radar can be used to measure ice thickness and hardness levels, which would be useful on a mission to Europa as it would provide a better understanding of the subsurface surroundings. Figure three displays a block diagram of my proposed GPR design. The signal generator generates a sawtooth wave at the inputted frequency. Next, the wave passes through the VCO, which generates the frequency that will be transmitted. The frequency can be selected based on how much voltage the VCO receives. The signal then passes through the attenuator, which will reduce the signal noise, and then through the amplifier, which will amplify the signal for transmitting. The signal then reaches a splitter to where the signal is passed through to the transmitting antenna and also sent to the mixer. The transmitted signal is received by the receiving antenna. Any noise carried by the signal is then reduced once the signal has passed through the low noise amplifier. At the mixer, the original signal is mixed with the received signal. This signal then passes through the intermediate frequency amplifier, which assists in stabilizing the frequency. The signal is then passed through a low pass filter to reduce any final noise. Finally, the signal enters a software defined radio, which generates a plot of amplitude versus frequency. The SDR outputs can be analyzed to determine how far an object is based on the frequency difference. Here's a diagram that I've created using images of each exact component I will be using to create a ground penetrating radar device. Currently I have about half the components and the rest is waiting to be received. However, due to the use of coaxial connections, assembly should be relatively easy and straightforward. Here is a bill of materials for this GPR design. This summarizes each component I have selected and their corresponding quantity. A sawtooth wave will be used as the offset between the transmitted and received signals will be much more consistent when compared to a sine wave. Figure four demonstrates the difference between transmitted and received sawtooth signals. Due to the cost and availability of an antipodal Vivaldi antenna, I will be using an omnidirectional antenna. I know that using an omnidirectional antenna for GPR does not make sense as omnidirectional antennas disperse radio waves in radial directions However, they will show me if my system works, to which I will then investigate a different antenna design. Thank you.